Walk away from the sun, come slowly undone. I can see in your What's up guys? My name is Jake Sub wanna call me Zoo Place and Flutter Best Content today and leader of uh Scary. Um now what I wanted to say today is the announcement of Scary coming to Twitch. Uh it's been in my mind for a long time. It's been in my mind ever since um Scary ended uh last time. Um, and I never really knew how to go about it. I wasn't established on Twitch myself. In fact, I still had a lot of problems going on with my OBS. Uh, my computer wasn't able to handle uh, streaming from console, um, and it would be choppy. So I had I, f I found a fix for that and all that good stuff while I was away, uh, regathering my thoughts, uh, dealing with my family issues, and all that good stuff, and finally coming up with a solution to how I can actually do this. Now I have notes written down, so I'm gonna be reading straight from the notes. I'm literally doing this at night before I go to bed, uh, because I have to be up in the mer uh, I have to be up early in the morning to stream, because that's my streaming schedule for now because of work and all that good stuff. Um, now what I was going to uh, say was I know I've been gone for a long time, and there are people who are confused as to why I kind of completely abandoned uh, abandoned them completely. I just said completely twice. Um, and I understand your frustration. You have no, you had no idea what was going on with me. I said briefly in the last video that we put up that uh, I had problems going on in my life, um, but I didn't really explain too much. I said like I think I, I think I said there was a death in the family, and uh, I didn't explain like the living situation with my grandparents. I don't think I might have. I'm not too sure, um, but I do take care of my grandparents. They are here. Uh, me and my brother do, and my uh, my buddy Kenny, who's always over here, he helps me take care of my grandparents. Uh, we give them their pills every morning, every evening, and on top of work, I do uh, do streaming. So that does take a considerable amount of uh, time out of my day. So whenever they need me, they'll, they'll just come in and uh, you know ask me for something, and they're pretty good at leaving me alone when I'm streaming. Uh, but my grandma, she has dementia, so she can't, she forgets a lot so I'll have to remind her time and time again but usually when it comes down to streaming my grandpa usually tells her that I'm streaming before she gets up and asks for something um, but if I'm not there then my brother's there and usually when I'm streaming my brother's there to help him out so it's kind of like a two-way street but what I was thinking about doing for this uh, for this team when it comes to Twitch is very strange to many people's eyes or very strange to the to the ear and not many people understand what's going to be going on, but I will explain it to you in this video. Now, there's a thing on Twitch called the sub button. If you guys aren't familiar with this, it's basically a button you get when you reach a consistent amount of viewers. Uh, or that Twitch likes what you're doing, and they want to give you a sub button so they can so you can represent them more. And usually how YouTubers get their sub button on Twitch immediately when they switch over is if they have 100,000 uh, 100, subs on their YouTube or more. And then they automatically get a uh, a sub button because their following is most likely going to follow them over there, over to Twitch. So it's a very it's a very um, good system when it comes to Twitch. They know what they're doing over there. But for now, we don't have our sub button, so we can't create our stream team. And our stream team can only be created with a sub button. And once you get that, once you get the stream team, you can invite others to your stream team, even if they're not um, even if they're not partnered yet with Twitch. So that's what I'm working on. I'm working on getting a sub button. I'm working on getting partnered. I'm building up my fan base. I'm currently at 534 followers, and I've been streaming every day for like four months, with the occasional breaks off because I've worked and stuff, uh, to help acquire this goal. So for the time being, we're going to have a transparent logo. The logo is going to be the scary logo, and it's going to go in any kind of corner you want, anywhere it fits. For me, it's in the bottom right corner with my uh, Zuppo logo, as well as my Just Gaming logo, which is a stream team I'm a part of right now. Uh, another stream team that's unofficial because they don't have their the leader of that stream team is a partner, but it's a very very great community, and I will link the team speak that we use uh, in the description, so you can find that down there when you're done watching the video. Now. The logo is going to be a standstill for now until we actually get the uh, the partnership up and running, and that will take time. But with time comes growing, and with growing comes your fan base getting used to the idea of this being a stream team. And then when it becomes official, uh, it's going to be very awesome. So 
Now, what I was thinking about was creating a Skype group. However, this, this is the difference between stream. This is the difference between streaming on Twitch and making videos on YouTube. On Skype, it is so easy to get your IP. I mean, someone can just type in your name in a certain site, and boom, there's your IP, and you can get hit offline. Now, if you're hit, getting hit offline, you can't stream. You know, and, it, and then you have to keep changing your IP, your IP, or your IP, and it's just going to be annoying. So I was, uh, so I made the decision to not have a a, uh, a Skype group or Skype chat for this. And if you're going to be in the stream team, if you're going to uh, stream, then I advise you to cut off Skype completely. I know this is going to be a big problem, but listen to me. If you get bigger, and if and when you get bigger, you're going to have people looking you up on Skype. And if people already know your Skype and people are just giving it out willy nilly, you're going to get hot, you're going to get hit offline very easily. It's not going to be a matter if, of if, it's going to be a matter of when. So either make a different Skype and only add the people that are in the stream team that actually stream or um, delete your Skype uh, entirely. Now I want you, what, what would be a good idea would to be is to, I can't talk today, a good idea would be to completely uh, disconnect your Skypes or create a Skype with a randomly generated name that nobody knows uh, and only add the people that are literally streaming or that are part of uh, scary um, that are in the stream team and listen you don't have to be in the if even if you don't stream you can still be in the in the, the Skype call alright I just have to know you and trust you and I know everybody that was in scary before and I know if I can trust them okay uh, so don't be offended if I don't put you into the Skype uh, into the Skype chat. If we've had problems in the past, um, that's just you can you can take your anger out on me. Okay, don't take your anger out on anybody anybody else. Um, so that's what I was thinking about when it comes to the Skype. It's going to be a big risk, but if you want to stream, be in the stream team, then you can't have your Skype connected with ev with everybody. Or I just voice cracked. Look at that, it's still it's still here. My voice cracks are still here. I'm 20 years old. It's never going away. But you can uh, you can't have your Skype widely known. It has to be confined within our within our knowledge. All right. I mean, it's gonna suck, but that's what you gotta do. So that is my idea for the Skype, the whole Skype situation. I'll explain it later in detail if you guys want me to. Uh, I'll, I'm de I have a feeling I'm definitely going to clarify this up. Now, for the TeamSpeak, we're not going to be using Skype calls when it comes to communicating with each other if we're playing together uh, during streaming. We're going to be using a TeamSpeak. The, the reason for this being is that Skype takes up so much of your CPU when you're trying to stream and you're in a call. I explained this to Matt. He still, I think he has the computer to run it at the same time. Uh, Matt is being, you know, uh, AWE. He was a uh, he was a player for us back then. If you, you guys don't remember, he is doing very well for himself on Twitch. He has like 2,000 followers. He's amazing. I'll link him in the description. I'll link his Twitch. You guys go follow him. He's a great guy. Um, so we use Teamspeak, and we I already have a server that's ready for you guys to come in and chat. Now this server is ran by Just Gaming's leader Ria. And Rhea is a very great streamer. She's one of my uh, close friends. Uh, I met her actually when she raided me on stream. Uh, she gave me like 13 viewers, I want to say. And I was playing South Park: Stick of Truth, and she was playing it that same night. So she was looking for other people that had it, and uh, she just uh, sent all their all her viewers over to me, and it was a great time. Uh, I messaged her about it early or later, and she wanted to be a part of her team. Uh, so it was a it, it's always a great thing when you can come together in a Twitch community. So that is the uh, the TeamSpeak. If you don't know how to download it, uh, I'll put instructions in the in the description down below. I'll even put a uh, link to a TeamSpeak client that you can download, and it'll it's it's as easy as that. All you gotta do is download it and just watch tutorials on YouTube. It's it's that easy. So other than that, we have the ideas of a Team Twitch channel. This is an idea that I thought of. Um, Actually, right when I was uh, right when I was um, uh, writing all this stuff down. Now, as I'm saying about Team Twitch channel, I mean a Twitch channel can only be streamed on if it has a stream key. 
and you only have that stream key. If somebody else has it, they can stream on your channel as well. This is the uh, only way someone's going to stream on your channel. Now for the Twitch, uh, the Twitch stream channel, it's the same thing. However, everybody else is going to have the uh, the stream key. And with how that works is that we're going to set up a schedule. If this happens, if you guys want to do this, uh, we're going to set up a schedule on when someone's going to stream onto the scary, uh, sh the scary uh, Twitch channel. And it's co it's probably going to be like w it's going to be like one time out of every week. Like say I'm scheduled for Monday, then someone else is scheduled for Tuesday, then Matt's scheduled for th uh, for uh, Wednesday, and so on and so forth. And we can even have a day where, uh, like on Sunday or the weekend, uh, actually the weekend's probably a popular time to stream, but on Sunday that nobody streams on the channel, and then it's just like every other day or every day. It, it's all it's all dependent on you guys how you want to do it, um, and that's my idea for the stream for the stream team Twitch channel. Now of course you're going to be streaming on your own Twitch channel every day or however your schedule works. If you have work, schooling, all that good stuff. That's uh, that's a that's a very good idea that I uh, proposed, and I want to know what you guys think about it. Now, for what we're actually going to stream, this is the beautiful part. Stream whatever the hell you want. I really don't care as long as it's, you know, actually just stream whatever the hell you want because your audience is going to be tailored around what you stream. I don't give a shit if you stream only Call of Duty, if you stream no Call of Duty, if you stream just Minecraft. You be you and you stream what you want to stream because in the end, when you're streaming, it's what you want to do. And if you're happy doing it, then your fans and your uh, followers and your viewers are going to see that and they're going to want to come back every single day. Um, and that's very important. And that's something I couldn't do with Scary when it came to an actual team thing. We were kind of based, we were based on FPS uh, shooters. We weren't based on multi-game such as genre. Uh, of course, we could do multi-game when it came to FPS, but we couldn't do multi-game when it came to genre, such as MMOs, uh, uh, League of Legends. They kind of put them. I put League of Legends in their own uh, category because have you ever seen the Twitch chats on those streamers? Oh my God, it's disgusting. Anyway, you stream whatever the hell you want to stream. I'm going to have people in this stream team that you've never heard of before because they're good friends of mine on Twitch, and I know what they can do, and you just welcome them with open arms be uh, the best person you can be because they work their asses off to stream and they want in the end the same thing that we do just a place to be where you can stream and not worry about anything now other than that we have very good uh, rules to follow you have to have a quality stream which means no choppiness uh, it has to be quality and by quality, I mean you have to have a mic that's that's uh, decent. Now I have a mic that I worked on for a while, and it sounds pretty good now. Um, with the mic, the kind of mic you need to have is going to be a mic that doesn't spike randomly out of nowhere, and it can't be a webcam mic. It has to be a mic that people can hear you clearly, and they can hear you on an even level uh, with the game. Now you have to test out all. You have to test out your the waters when it comes to OBS or uh, XSplit or whatever stream uh, streaming software that you're going to use. Uh, you have to test the waters. You have to see what what works for you. If you have an Elgato, you're going to have to deal with input lag, and I can help you out with that. I can help you out with uh, uh, even putting your PC or your Mac or whatever you're going to stream off of the sounds on that matching up with your Elgato. That is. A step ahead or about two seconds ahead of your actual um, face cam or uh, computer sound. It's very intricate stuff. You're gonna have to watch a lot of tutorials. If you're gonna be serious about this, you're gonna want to put a lot of time into this aspect alone. I have my settings uh, perfect to what I want, and it's ta it took me about two months to do that. So don't expect it to be you know hot out of the water. You're going to stream and it's going to be amazing. No, you're gonna be pissed at your OBS, you're going to want to quit some days, but you're going to have to keep going through it if you want to start doing this. Um, and be respectful. Be respectful and follow the Twitch's terms of service. There's nothing we want, uh, there's nothing we don't want more than someone who is violating Twitch, ser uh, Twitch uh, terms of service that is representing scary. Now that's a bad idea. <laughs> it's a horrible idea, especially if they're going to be a part of the stream team that's uh, partnered later on. 
that's going to be a bad idea. So make sure you read up on the terms of service. Uh, know what you can and can't do. You can't go shirtless on streams. You can't streak through the stream for like a, a thousand followers. You know you can't do that. You have to be respectful and plan your ideas accordingly to where you can actually follow the rules. So other than be respectful, which is what we do, we're always respectful. And if I if I catch anybody not being respectful, then they're out. All right, you have to be respectful or give them a warning. Depends on how bad it was. Now we have to have a good reputation. Good reputation is obviously key. Is what we had in scary. Uh, obviously, people get mad over certain things and blow it away out of proportion, and make new enemies and stuff. But that's what you, that that's life. I mean, you're not gonna succeed in life without making enemies, um, regardless of the situation. Maybe you've slipped up one day and had a tantrum. Uh, obviously, you can say you're sorry, however much you want. But whether whether or not they uh, forgive you is up to them. And if they don't, well, you got to move on with your life. Um, now for other things, let's see. I'm going to be holding you accountable for your own actions. I can't bail you out. I'm not going to be babysitting a hundred. I'm not going to be babysitting 24 hours a day. Now, back in scary, back when in the Skype call, in, in the Skype chat, and all that, I could monitor you guys. I could uh, see who's being uh, who's being a nuisance who's helping out, who's being respectful, who's not, and, uh, you know, take action accordingly. We're all adults here, all right? I, I know some of you guys are like 14 years old, uh, you know, 16, you're just entering teenager years. I don't, I don't care. You have to think things through when it comes to your actions on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, uh, hell, even kick, all right? You got to be respectful, you got to know what you're saying, you can't offend anybody outright by saying the n-word or something like that you have to be uh, respectful and I'm not going to be babysitting you I'm not going to be telling you what to do all the time uh, you use your judgment accordingly I don't have the time to sit in Skype chat and monitor everything I can't report every I can't uh, fix everything if something goes on between you and another streamer you fix it you find a way to fix it respectfully you don't hold a grudge that's just dumb and if there's somebody else that's trash talking a streamer in the chat, remind them that this is a chat where we don't accept that. All right, every single streamer is your coworker. When you get partnered, that's what it's going to be like. Even before you're partnered, they're your future coworker because if you work hard enough, you will make this into a job. All right, it's going to happen. You're going to work your ass off to gain the respect of others, and stream the way that is very respectful in the way that you can stream it I can't stress that enough you have to be respectful because nobody's gonna take you serious if you start throwing it you know f bombs c bombs uh, all over the place and not caring whether or not your whether or not your viewers are like little or adults you know you have to be you have to keep that in mind of course you can put a, an adult or mature rating on your stream when they come in but don't scar people okay don't scar them for life by saying something that they'll never want to hear all right you can have fun with your chat if your chat is mature audience you know you can talk about mature things but make sure you keep it respectful don't say anything racial uh, even if it's a slip even if you think you're gonna slip up stop talking all right stop talking because racial you can't say anything racial it's against the in terms of the twitch terms of service it's uh, it's not allowed, so you have to be very respectful in what you say and very mindful too. Think about what you're going to say before you actually say it. And what I was thinking was possibilities of stream highlights on the scary YouTube. Uh, we can have people send in send me their stream highlights, or I could like go through your stream highlights every once in a while because I can download your stream highlights onto mine on uh, for me and uh, put it up on the scary channel. I can do that. Or you can send it to me via Skype, and I'll send you the uh, I'll send you the Skype that I use on my Mac. That you can just send me uh, um, a message and or send me the file, and I can upload it right there. Um, now I was thinking about that. If you guys want to do that, fine with me. Uh, fine with me. If you guys want to keep that channel retired, fine with me as well. It was an idea that I was tossing up. Now I know I rambled a lot in this video, but it was, everything I said was very important. All right, you guys have to be respectful. You guys have to be uh, on your game all the time, or else you're out. You know, I, I'm not dealing with any bullshit when it comes to that. 
because uh, when you're streaming and you say something live, someone's going to say something about it, spread it around, and if you're if you're representing Scary, it's a whole clusterfuck, all right? Now, uh, so thank you for listening to me, and uh, thank you for listening to the idea. Now, if you don't want to be a streamer, if you don't want to stream to Twitch, uh, but you still want to be a part of the uh, the stream team, I have uh, moderator spots for everybody. Now, you guys are going to be moderating uh, with a strict, I wouldn't say really strict, but with a, a mindset that, okay, I can let something go, or I can, uh, you know, kind of follow up on it and tell someone that they're being disrespectful in the chat, and so on and so forth, using your judgment. Uh, I have a lot of moderators in my chat to begin with, so if I mod you, uh, it's going to be probably when we have, like, no moderators in the chat at the time that we're streaming and we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, viewers so that's uh, a possibility now there's not much I can do for you if you want to be on the stream team and you don't stream uh, I mean you can always be there for the streams you can always support uh, if you don't want to stream you know uh, if you're a former scary member and you're in somebody else's uh, and if you're in someone's uh, chat that wasn't scary or um, or my chat for instance just let me know, and um, if I don't have many moderators going on at that point, if there's a lot of viewers, I'll moderate you, right? Because I know who you are. We've been through a lot of shit together, and it's uh, it'd be it'd be a justice for you sticking with me for all these years. So that's what I have to say. Thank you guys for listening to me and uh, listening to what I have to say. The green screen back there is what I use. I just got this green green screen not so long ago. Of course, it only fills a certain portion. But I cut those certain pro so certain portions out. They're in the stream, um, so you can only see me. So it's very interesting. And if you want to get serious, like if you're really serious about this, I suggest getting a green screen with soft lighting. Uh, they it really does help. It uh, brings out it kind of it kind of like shows that you're serious about this, that you're really serious about this, because you want your stream to look as good as possible. Now you don't have to show your face cam, like you don't have to show your face during the stream. All right, that's completely optional with you. Um, but it's kind of like relates with the chat more personally if you do, you know. It kind of it gives them the sense that you don't give a shit if people think you're ugly or not at your face, you know. You can't just like get plastic surgery and put on a shit ton of Botox and make yourself look like Brad Pitt, you know, just for streaming. No, at your face, you you have what you have, and other people got to deal with it. So it's another uh, key thing, you know. Be be confident. Don't let other people in the Twitch chat bring you down. Especially if you're playing Call of Duty, because idiots will come and they'll be like, "Oh, you're a nerd, ha ha," and then you just have to brush them off like they're a fly. But um, thank you guys for listening to me, and I'll see you guys next time.